video we are talking about Canva. Canva, Canva, Canva. I love Canva. <laughs> if you know Cuckoo Kangaroo, you'll understand that little comment just there. The Canva will save you so much time. And if you are graphically challenged like I am, it will save you a ton of time. <laughs> So what we're going to do is I'm going to, we're going to talk about the free version and the paid version and I'll turn the crack camera around and I'll show you a quick way to do thumbnails, covers, you can do pre preview PDFs, you can do social media, you can do so many things in Canva. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Lorianne and if you are new or returning, welcome, welcome back. Here at It's Our Primary, we talk teacher side hustles and in particular, we're doing a lot right now with helping you, if you are new to Teachers Pay Teachers, how to get started, how to create those first products, how to upload, how to, you know, tutorials. And I would be amiss if I did not talk about Canva. Canva is a wonderful tool that can save you so much time when creating the, the kind of the extra little things when you are needing to upload your product. When I started Teachers Pay Teachers back in 2020, I just uploaded a product and Teachers Pay Teachers, you know, their little system automatically made thumbnails and covers. And I thought, great, but I was told don't do that. And I'm telling you, don't do that. <laughs> uh, they actually, this is true story, they actually put uh, as a thumbnail one of my pages that had links <laughs> to Google Slides right on it. So for all to see. And why would they need the product if I'm handing them the link? Anyways, that's another story. I actually started using Canva before I started selling on Teachers Pay Teachers for YouTube. I was looking for an easier way to do YouTube thumbnails and covers. And uh, I remember here, so I can't remember if I heard it from somebody or, or whatever it was. And I was like, oh, this is this saves me so much time. I am graphically challenged. I I am like, just give me the fast way to do something. <laughs> and so when I met Canva, hello, new friend. And Canva is continually upgrading, adding more stuff. It is ridiculous. So let's talk about, first of all, why you need it. Time, 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 time. Color options are given to you, all sorts of things. Start with a free account. That's exactly what I did. I start, had the free account for about four or six months before I went to the paid and I'm not going back, baby. <laughs> I am not going back. I love the paid version. With the free version, you get over 250,000 templates. You won't know, like you could spend hours looking at them. Don't. Pick one or two, three stick with them another day right another day look at stuff you get so many free photos and graphics you're just going to be like what you get about five gigs of storage which is not a lot i mean for me i if, if i was on the free account i think i'd have gone past it by now for a free account you get a lot let me go back within those templates you have everything with the right dimensions. So Instagram posts, they'll, they'll give you the square. Uh, Pinterest pins, they'll give you the rect long rectangle or the short. I use those a lot. Uh, you can use, they have real templates. They have um, story, Instagram story, Facebook posts. They've got them all. They've got tons of them. And again, you could spend hours upon hours looking at them all. No, don't do that. Just get the dimensions, find a couple, two or three, and then stick with them for a while. Just again, we're doing this to save us time, not to add more time. It's so easy. Next week's video, when I, when I talk about uh, clip art and fonts, it, it, you can spend hours just looking at clip art and fonts. Don't do that. Give yourself a time limit, just like on Canva. Give yourself a time limit and pick the best Three, five. Okay. I keep, I keep adding that number. <laughs> five, seven. Okay. Keep it low and just use those ones. Okay. The biggest difference between the free version and the paid version for me personally is two things. There's two things that I just love. One is the 
uh, I can remove a background. So I, when I'm making a YouTube video, I take a picture, you know, click, click, and then I put this picture on Canva and I remove the background. Now, once in a while, you'll see the background and like this background behind me here, and it's blurred. I, I actually remove myself, take that photo, blur it, and then I put myself back on. It's cool. It's cool. I don't, I, I don't know how I would possibly do that. I'm sure there's photo apps that do that. I don't know how to do that. I'm not going to spend the time. It's one click. And if, if, you know, once in a while a little weird hair shows up like this, right, I can just erase it. <laughs> it's not a big deal. The other thing I like is resizing. So I can take a uh, Teachers Pay Teachers product cover, square, make sure to do squares, and then I can take that exact cover and re click one button, resize to an inst into a Pinterest pin. And then I just have to move things around a little bit. It's, it's amazing. Now, can you do all this on in PowerPoint and, and Google Slides? Of course you can. You can do all these sorts of things everywhere, <laughs> I'm sure. But again, it's a free account. It's, it's, it's truly amazing. Uh, there is going to be a link down below. It's an affiliate link and uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra. Just do the trial version, you know, make, uh, make a couple thumbnails and, and covers and like I said, it is, I am one happy camper with Canva. Okay. A couple extra things that I really like about Canva. They offer, again, graphically challenged, they offer a design school, which I, I'm, I may take down the road, but they offer a color wheel and a palette. So if you were like, I have no idea what colors to use, but I like this color, you type in the hex code of that color and they will tell you the monochromatic scheme, the, the, you know, all the different color things. And <laughs> I was like, ah, <laughs> I was showing my sister this and she's like, do you know it does this? And I'm like, it does. <laughs> and she, she's, yeah, she can do color. I can't. So I love that. You can get canva for free for educators but be careful the terms of use terms of use if you haven't if you're new to teachers pay teachers terms of use needs to be your friend but terms of use is you're not allowed to sell anything if you're using the educator account that is for personal classroom only okay only be smart about having a business, right? Make good choices. And there, you have to also be careful about taking some of their images and putting them in your, in your products. You can use them for covers, thumbnails, things like that. But to take one of their images or graphics and put it into one of your products that you sell, no, 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 don't do it. It's again, terms of use, <laughs> terms of use. You can't do that. It's dicey because I know there are people that um, make uh, Etsy products and they will uh, take, they'll see a template already existing and they will turn around and sell it. That's against terms of use. They can get, they can get kicked out of, off Etsy. They can kick, get kicked out of Canva. You don't want to be doing those sort of things. You can make templates, but you've got to make it your own template from scratch. You can't take theirs change the words and then sell it as your own. Again, terms of use, terms of use, okay? So let me turn the camera around. I'm going to make a thumbnail, a cover and a thumb and some thumbnails with a product that I just finished. I finally, yeah, I just got home. <laughs> I just got home a couple days ago. I'm exhausted. The jet lag kick, hit, hit, kicks in around 3 p.m. and then I'm like, oh, so I try to, I've been trying to do uh, some boom cards and I got a deck almost done. I'm going to make cover and product uh, thumbnails for it because I'm going to eventually put it onto Teachers Pay Teachers. So let's turn the camera around. And if you don't love Canva, I think you will after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> we are starting in boom because I need some screenshots of some of these pictures in order to make the thumbnails in Canva. And all I need to do is while I am testing this deck and there are some, 
it's not quite finished it's it's almost finished but I just go up to preview and while I and I check the sound move the yellow leaves onto the leaf pile and I'll, I'll actually do it to make sure it's working and I'll purposely make some wrong to make sure it's okay and while I'm doing that, I'll do a, I'm on a Mac, so I do Command Shift 4, which is a screenshot, and I'll just take a quick screenshot. And then that's right. And so I'll go through my whole deck. I'll take about anywhere from four to six screenshots, and I'll even do a mini video, which again on the Mac is Command Shift 4. Five, and then I can do a mini recording with audio and then I get out of here and I go into canva.com now this particular one is already defaulted to my paid one but if I log out and I go to my free one so this is my free version and there's not very many things on here because I use my paid but let me just show you how I can quickly make a cover. Now the cover size for both TPT and Boom are the same, square. So I'm going to go to create a design. And I'm going to actually use the Instagram post because it's square. You see, at 1080 by 1080 makes it easy. So as you can see, it's got the square. And what I do is I don't actually use one of these but as you can see there's lots of template ideas as suggestions and you can use them again these are and if you see the crown the crown tells you it's part of the pro but what i am looking for in elements is an ipad and i'm going to look for one that i can easily right so i put an ipad there because this, this is a deck of boom cards and they will tell you when you're centered then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a grid in here. So I change this iPad to grid and I take the first one. And it, as you saw that it just automatically filled the page. I want it not to fill the page. So I'm going to size it down and then I'm going to position it forward. So you got to make sure that the cloud is at the top. And then I'm going to go back and put this picture in there and it automatically sizes it just like that. And you can upload your logo in uploads. You can upload image photos, screenshots, and you've got access to all of these images. There are some animated images. If I go into photos, again, some are free, some are paid. If I'm looking for um, leaves to add to this image, again, there's lots that are free. I can do these ones. I can do fall leaves, and here are all these other images. I like this right here, so I would probably, but it's pro. But here's, a, I can look for one that is free, like this one, and use it as a background to this whole um, thing. Now, you just position this to the back and but I'm also going to just it's a little bit too bright so I'm going to change the transparency down and then I'm just going to go over to text and I always do things you don't want a ton of words because most people look at the images they look at products on a phone so the less is better I like to use uh, league Spartan and I go real big like 80 so boom cards and I can just keep clicking this and it just grows until it fills you can put in a frame behind it so if I go to elements I'm going to do I think it's called frame it's hard when I'm in the free one because I have everything kind of set up on my paid one. <laughs> but there's one that is, just let me just write rectangle. Oh yeah, so I just want one of these. See, and then I can just adjust the shape. 
and fill it all the way across. And then what I'm going to show you one thing I really like is I can actually put two different size texts in here. Um, I'm going to do sorting leaves and that's too big. So I'm going to highlight and drop that one down to the eight. So that, see how this one stayed the same, but this one's dropped and actually maybe I'll do a little bit smaller. Yeah. Now, if you don't like this space, you go to these arrows here and it says you can do letter size spacing. Like I can bring these letters together, line spacing. So if I do this, see how it's moving up? I can put, I'll put my logo in here. This background's not what I would do because it doesn't match the color. <laughs> Actually, what I could do is change this blue to what they'll do is they'll say based on the colors of the photo, you can do gold which I could, orange, brown, red. As you can see, I'm not, I'm color challenged. I might add in a little bit more text and I'll just say how many boom cards are actually in this deck, but I keep it simple. I'm gonna move over to the pro <laughs> because it's just, I have a template already set up, but you can create uh, your templates for yourself. There's lots in here. If you go up to, file and new, they'll give you new design. Look at all the different things that you can create. And again, you can create your own logo in here if you wanted to. Uh, you can create collages. You can do your business cards, postcards, newsletters, labels. I've done uh, images for my website in here, banners. You can do your banners for your store in here. There's lots to do. I'm gonna sign out. And let me just show you some of the templates that I've done. I have files and I can do a brand kit and a bunch of other things with the pro version. I can put in my own fonts in the pro version, but in this just recent designs, if I, if I scroll over, you can see it says one of four. So these are my templates that I sell in Teachers Pay Teachers, but let me go to a boom deck. So um, let me just go to this one for a moment. So when I make covers, I actually make them in groups of four because I'm going to make a cover and then I'm going to make the thumbnails because I'm going to put my boom decks into Teachers Pay Teachers. They sell better in Teachers Pay Teachers for me. I don't know if they sell better for everyone, but they definitely sell better for me. So as you can see, this was one that I did a little while back and I always put my logo in there, digital task cards, and then I make a duplicate so duplicate page and then these ones are going to be my uh, thumbnails because you have uh, three thumbnails in teachers pay teachers and then you also have a pdf so i will do this so i'm I, i'm advertising boom cards you know no prep self-grading i'll put another screenshot in here audio instructions provided they can see that with this little image right here so and I sometimes, and I'll put in extra images from the elements in here. And I've also got this little mock-up where the hand uh, is showing. And then this one talks about you were, what you will receive is a PDF with a link to the Boom Learning. If you do not have a Boom Learning account, it is free to open. Okay. So I provide this sort of stuff. So at the beginning, a lot of times I will just get the boom cards live. So all I need is this one. And I will download this when I hit share as a JPEG. Now JPEGs are not as clear as a ping. One of the questions they often get asked is why do my images look blurry? TPT does that purposely to discourage copying from other people. But it could be the resolution that you're downloading it as. So if I go to download here, first of all, it's coming up automatically as an MP4 because I've got some animated images in here because this went into Pinterest as well as a, a video pin. But it gives you all the all the ones, all the options that you have. Ping is going to give you the clearest image, not by a lot. They're they're very subtle differences, but I tend to download as JPEGs because they're smaller in size 
and uh, because they're smaller in size, I can easily upload them to Teachers Pay Teachers. Okay, and I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so that is just one of many, many things you can do in Canva. Okay. Like I said, you know, when you find a tool that you can have for free, or again, paid, paid version to me is totally worth it. it saves me hours, 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 hours. Um, jump on it. Uh, like I said, grab a trial version, link down below. Let me know what you think of it. And feel free to email me or DM me here or on uh, Instagram, Facebook. There's a Facebook group. Let me know what you think of Canva. There's a huge population of TPT sellers who love Canva, and I am in that group. So, upcoming video. Next week, we are going to do fonts and clip arts. I'm going to show you some ways of getting free fonts. We're going to talk about terms of use with fonts and clip art. And, um, yeah, just some of the things that you can do with them uh, in PowerPoint, in Canva. You can upload your fonts to Canva, a pro account. And I'm also going to be adding a couple extra videos. Um, I'm going to keep with the Teachers Pay Teachers Boom Teacher Side Hustle stuff on the weekend. But I'm going to be posting a couple extra videos on Tuesdays. Uh, probably only two or three extra ones. I was asked if I would do a mini trip a vlog. I will do that. I've got film is all done. <laughs> I just have to edit it. So I will do that and I will also uh, another couple other requests that are not necessarily Teachers Pay Teachers related. So I will post those in the next couple Tuesdays, all right? Okay, so wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy. I hope you are enjoying this summer. If you are working on your Teachers Pay Teachers, work hard, work smart. And we'll catch you in that video or in that playlist. See ya. Thank you.